Thank you for joining us today at uh, Camp Heal Thyself. We are the members of the Thrive Homestead community. We're merging together several communities here. We're merging together our regenerative cannabis community and solvalist extraction community with our mushroom and fungi and psychedelic community at a, at a very important time in, in our history. This is definitely a dream come true, and it's really wonderful to see all y'all's faces. And we're really excited for all the education about to be laid down. Educators and farmers, you're at one of them as well, Lisa, and we're just honored to have you in our life. Shroom Camp wouldn't have happened without you. We love you. We want to turn it over to you. Thank you, Lisa. Let's hear it for Lisa Green, y'all. So the first thing I want to start with is this analogy that I really like, and I call it surfing mushroom waves. And it can just be very helpful for understanding a mushroom experience. If you want to ride ocean waves and you need some science to be able to predict that, but you also need a lot of like kind of heart and soul and experience. And mushroom waves are the same way. It comes down to that same kind of intuition as surfing ocean wave. You have to use a combination of science and soul and experience. What we're going to cover today is the, pretty much the entire cultivation process, which sounds potentially overwhelming. The journey of the spore. The journey of the spore, but it is not overwhelming. We're going to go from so, spore to a lot more. We're, that is right. We are going to turn straw into gold. All right, so what am I looking at right now? And what's on your mind, man? We're at Heal Thyself Gardens, and I, I just came upon a bunch of fungus. Yeah, I got I got mushrooms on my mind at all, at all times. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, what, so what is this booth? What, what you got going on right now? So um, this is uh, Mr. McDabbin's Magic Mushrooms. I go by Stab McDabbin on Instagram. I have Ooh. some microdoses, and then I have some some mushrooms. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> uh, so uh, you know, it's becoming more decriminalized, like states in Oregon. Is this kind of what the impetus for all this kind of stuff was? A lot of that, you know. Hope, hoping that it will be decriminalized here. That'd be a good hope for sure. Um, love to see the whole of California move into decrim. All the food is coming from uh, local organic farms, and they're also our friends who um, sponsor the farmers markets and really get a lot of community going around here. And they make amazing food, so we're just like so grateful for our small community. Thanks. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. 